This will be a demonstration of the Moon 9 288 Miner. It has uh, four mining lasers, two collectors, uh, material scanner, and uh, this is used for approach. So I'll hit uh, mouse 5, which will, if you hit the V panel, I have that set to go um, for uh, SO and for approach. And this will bring me in, uh, the RFD is rangefinder distance, so it'll bring me into around 20, um, at which point I'll enable my mining lasers. Um, this tells me what's in it, so the stacks of ocariums, a little over 5, and we're at 20, so I'll turn on the lasers. This will also, uh, turning on the lasers will disable crews, um, it will enable a light on the front of the ship, it's on the end right here, and it will um, enable the collectors for 30 seconds. I'll show you that light. The lights aren't very bright, um, but at least it lights up things as they're coming in. Um, uh, it's got uh, different light switches. Um, there's hazard lights, that's the flashing lights that are on the outside of the ship, um, external lights, interior lights, uh, I'll show you where the interior lights are, that is here, um, these are the 12 tier 2 um, fuel cell chambers, the middle rows are all spares, um, the top and bottom rows are active. There are 128 batteries. Um, this is our Yolal stack. There's uh, ISAN for the top two. Uh, this is the hazard lights, mining automation, mining lasers, um, asteroid collision avoidance system, field calculations, mat scan and approach, <coughs> power backup, and uh, gas calculations. And then these side bays, I just have a uh, crafting table, there's your navigation array, I mean there's not much in here, there's room to put stuff if you want more in there. Easy wiring for range finders in case you have any trouble with them. Um, and then over here, we've got the left left side bay, same kind of thing, same story, just a crafting table, it's a tool bench, um, but it also gives you access to the side of these generators if you ever need to work on anything there. The sockets are down here, and I didn't love that they weren't really easy to work on. For example, if one of those wires broke, you'd be kind of screwed. So if you come to the bottom of the ship, there's a generator maintenance hatch. Hit that and you've got access to it. Pretty easy wiring. Moving around to the back, um, this is the gas bay. So this will give you access to the propellant tanks. There's six large propellant tanks for 58 or 54 million um, units. Close that. And then engine wiring uh, right here is the thrust bay. This is for the rear thrusters. It gives you nice easy access to the back of all of them. So if you ever have to replace them, upgrade them. Um, do anything else. These two are for the large triangle thruster arrays, and the rest around the edges here are all just box thrusters. Um, this same door is on both sides, but nice array of engines. Um, there's some engines across the top. Uh, I put these little side stations in case you have a friend tagging along. I think it's kind of funny. There's not, I mean, there's not much control. He just uh, full power or not full power is this guy's job. Um, you could, of course, swap those out with whatever you wanted. This is just duplicated, so crews. You can see there's crews there too. Turtle, same. Um, asteroid collision avoidance system is 
extremely packed with rangefinders for good reason. Um, it's to keep the ship from running into asteroids, obviously. But uh, when you intersect one on this side, the ship will automatically move out of the way. Um, and basically, anywhere that whatever the whatever's closest to the rangefinder or closest edge to the rangefinder, that's which direction the ship will travel away from. So there's going up, down, right, left, whichever makes the most sense. And these are projected a thousand meters out. It works really well. Um, this panel shows the detection. So it'll flash to show where it sees the asteroid. Um, I Sometimes, you know, if I see one on this side, I think I'll just tap to the right a little bit. I, I've learned to just trust the system because sometimes there's an asteroid on the right too. So for the most part, I just leave it. But you'll see if I intersect this one above my head, it's going to slide me down, slide the ship down to avoid that asteroid that it detected. Um, down here is the asteroid collision avoidance count, so it keeps track of how many are dodged. And it doesn't count pulses either, it's, uh, I think it's like a 20 second cooldown. So if I come over here and I'm a big old asteroid, and the engines fire multiple times to avoid me, you can see it's still in the count to up to 10. Um, over here we've got ESO, that's the material scanner. Lasers are the lasers, obviously. Um, approach is just that. Collector, um, this shows propellant calculations, rangefinder, distance for approach. Um, the scan is what's in whatever you're pointing at, whatever you're mining. Um, ISAN 2 keeps track of speed pretty good. Um, the last version of ISAN wasn't very good, so I'm a big fan of this one. Um, and then these are the rods, so it shows current load. There's 1% on all of them. There's uh, groups of four, three groups of four, so 12 total. And uh, the number below is the percentage full, so 83.7 is approximately how much is in these uh, fuel cells currently. And that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to buy the ship, it's on ShipStore. It's in, uh, you can go through Discord, shoot me a message.